Hi, in this video I'm going to go over how to add the videos into the list view of the Philly 4 blog. So you'll see these first two have videos and then this third one, even though there's a video in the post itself, does not show it um, you know, in, in the list view. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm here, I see the video, I go to edit post. You'll see there's this big iframe here that you've probably pasted in from YouTube, so I'm just going to click on the text tab and then come in here and copy the YouTube URL and now I'm scrolling all the way down here looking for something that says custom fields if you don't see it on your screen you may have to go to screen options and enable the custom fields so if I scroll down here you'll see I have some options and I'm gonna go video URL and then I'm gonna paste in my YouTube URL right here um, and then I'm just gonna hit update So this view still looks the same. I'm going to click on my YouTube tag so I can see the list view. And now you'll see that I have my video here on the features and benefits of the Logler Allen Edger. I'm also going to show you in this video how to add a photo gallery. Um, so I'm going to go back here to the home page. And I'm just going to use this first post to show you how to make a photo gallery. Edit the post and I can get out of my text view so I'm just gonna add the photo gallery here at the bottom I'll do add media just like I'm adding a, a regular photo and then over here on the left I'm gonna hit create gallery and now I just need to choose several images for my gallery so I'll just choose these four right here and click create new gallery so here's where you can caption them as well as kind of move them in a different order um, the things that are important are this link to attachment page is the default, but it really doesn't work with the photo gallery software that you have set up. You always need to set this to link to the media file. Um, three columns is, is fine. We can leave that default setting, and the thumbnail size is also fine. We don't want to mess with that. So we'll sit, hit insert gallery, and then we'll hit update for our page. And we'll check out this post from the front end. And here's my nice little photo gallery, and if I click, then you'll see I have a nice big zoomed in view. I can go left and right, and the nice thing is that this also works well on mobile devices so that you can actually thumb, thumb photos from left to right and go through the gallery fairly quickly. Uh, one thing to note on the photo galleries is that they always show the caption, um, so if you haven't taken the time to write a caption, it may some, say something like the file name, which may not look great. Um, you can just delete the file name and leave it blank if you don't wish to have a caption, but make sure you, you pay attention to have something there. So hopefully that helped you show, show you how to do the videos as well as the photo galleries.